Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. So today I have another French white wine and um, I was excited about this one because it normally retails for 33 bucks and I got it for 16. I know, I know, it's not Wine on the Dime approved because it's not 15 and under, um, but you want to sell a little blood and let's try this together. Hey everybody, before we begin today's video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that notifications bell so you can see future videos when they are posted. So, like I said, I got a cutthroat. I damn near stole this wine at this rate, and I'm happy about it. This is the Joseph Druffin Puy Fousse from Burgundy. It is 13% alcohol by volume. Uh, it's a 2015, and normally it retails for 33 bucks, and I got it for $16. So, if you do the math, that's a hell of a savings. I'm not even gonna go beyond that. Uh, let's go ahead and get going. So I opened this with uh, my new wine opener the other day, the Apero, and I'll post a, a link to it right here. But uh, it, was, it was a pretty fun experience. And um, uh, I decided that this can't stay in the wine fridge for too much longer, so let's just go ahead and review it. So from a color standpoint, I would say pale lemon. No artifacts, no cloudiness. For my nose, well, definitively, you have some oak. Like, that is a very obvious thing. It's not overpowering, it's just, it's there. It's definitely there. Um, I'm getting a little bit of green apple, a little red apple, lemon, lime, touch of melon, maybe a little bit of apricot. And an oak. I mean, it just it smells like oak. It's a tiny bit toasty. A little bit of like vanilla, and it's got it smells like a little bit of like a malolactic buttery type of a uh, of quality coming off of it. So from a taste, okay. So definitely. Lemon, lime, like a citrusy note, green apple, red apple. Um, maybe I was wrong, there's a, maybe a touch of orange peel. I'm gonna lean towards orange peel. Um, I am definitely getting a creamy, slight, um, almost like a cottage cheese note to this. I'm also getting, um, a, well, I mean, it, 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 it tastes like the inside of a barrel, but not, it's not strong, but it still tastes like the inside of a barrel. It has a little bit of a woodiness to it. Maybe a touch of vanilla. Yeah, I mean, overall, it's not too bad. It's, it's not overpowering. But on that note, let's go ahead and get to the categories. So for balance, I'm, I'm gonna give you a check mark. You, you have a, a medium plus body. Uh, I, I'd say the alcohol presence on the palate's medium plus. You got a medium plus acid. I mean, a, a, everything is everything feels like it's in balance. Length. You actually have a, like a medium plus length. Like I took a sip and it just kind of stayed. So then I was like, okay, maybe I'm just cleansing my palate. Took another sip, just kind of stayed. So I'm giving you medium plus length, so you get half a point there. Intensity. You're getting a point. I, everything there's there's a there's a noticeable amount of intensity, especially on the fruit, and that oak is intense, but it's not overpowering. Mm. I like that a lot. And the alcohol alcohol has a nice intensity too. Complexity. I am getting a little bit of secondary, not getting really any tertiary, and I'm getting um, a lot of that primary fruit. So I'll give you half a point there. Overall. I'm gonna give you a very good. I'm gonna lean towards a very good. But here's here's the deal is your $33 wine I got for 16 bucks. So if you weren't very good, I would be kind of disappointed. If I bought you at 33 bucks, I'd probably give you a good because this is what I would expect at this price. But from a price kind of value perspective, if you can find this at this price point, it's a steal. Go ahead and buy some up. Anyway, this is Ms. Stewart with Wine on a Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried this Puy Fousse? I'd be interested to know if you have. 
leave a comment below, and I will see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.